Hi everybody, my name is Brady and we are back with another edition of Flag Review. Don't let the views fool you. This is the best series on this channel. I highly suggest, if you have not, go back and watch every single one. You will understand why only after you've completed every one of them. Today we're going to be doing your suggestions because it's an episode that ends with a 5 or a 0 and that's what we're going to be doing now. I guess they're all your suggestions. This is when we do individual flags. For episodes ending with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, or 9, all of those are sets of flags like US state flags, Canadian provinces, Liberian counties. But uh, five and zero episodes, episodes that end with a five or zero, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, those going forward are going to be the ones where I do the individual countries. And I took a lot of old suggestions for this one. So I went back to videos from over a month ago to get a lot of these flags. So if your suggestion hasn't gotten in yet, don't get discouraged. I just might not have gotten around to it yet. You might be surprised. Uh, if one of your comments from over a month ago ends up in this one, it, it is happening. I'm very excited for this. This should be fun. Uh, also, you like the new video format? I personally like it. I, I, I think it looks a lot cleaner. It's kind of what I'm going for. There was a lot of dead space in the old way that I did one. I'm trying to make more effective use of space. So let me know if you like it or not. Um, I'm still going for like that raw reaction feel, but uh, yeah, it, it is, is definitely a little cleaner. So. Let's get it started. First flag. Also, not an educational series. Not going after anybody's culture. This is mostly just colors and shapes I'm talking about. We got Brazil, suggested by viewer Gaspacho Soup. Uh, I, I like some things about Brazil. I have a soft spot for it. I did a project on Brazil uh, in middle school. It was a long time ago, but I remember that I made this clay model of the Brazilian flag and it took way longer than it should have because I was trying to get all these stars right and the lettering and trying to make all that work with clay is rather difficult. I think we just ended up using a green marker for the writing, but unrelated story. Is it a good flag or not? The colors are not bad. They're also not the best though. Uh, the green and yellow are, they don't hurt one another, but neither of which stands out next to one another. So it makes me really look more to the center for something interesting, and I'm mixed on it. Of course we have the lettering, which I don't really like. You get rid of that banner altogether. Uh, I don't care what it says. I, it, I don't care how inspiring it is. I, I'm just not a huge fan of lettering on flags. However, I am kind of fond of the stars. I kind of pity Brazilian kids in school. They they probably had to draw this thing and they're trying to remember, okay, where are, where's where's that star? And trying to get it just right. I, I'm thinking as a kid, like drawing all 50 US stars uh, was just a tedious task. I It wasn't like a difficult thing to remember. I knew there were 50 and it just took a really long to get time to get all of them. But this is rather difficult. Personally, the color's okay, but not outstanding. The lettering is going to take it down significantly. I don't think it's an awful flag, but I can't give it anything above a two. Um, I feel more, uh, for perspective, for those of you who haven't watched the early ones, the U.S. flag is what I measure it from, and the U.S. flag I give a three out of five. This one's a two, mostly because of the lettering and the fact that the shapes on it are not necessarily uh, outstanding. It doesn't excite me in any sort of way. Um, there is some good color choice in there, so I like that. I think there's little things that could be done to make this a little bit better. But yeah, it, two isn't the worst. Two out of five isn't the worst, considering that I can be kind of harsh towards flags. But I've gotten easier on them over time. Now we got Jamaica. Okay. Okay, here we go. We got something really cool here because we have green and yellow on the Brazil flag. Then we got green and yellow on the Jamaica flag. I think the big difference maker is the third color in this case. Uh, the green and yellow together 
Neither of which stand out, but the, when you add in this black, it does a whole lot for it. The third color choice on uh, the Brazilian flag is not as uh, exciting. I, I don't re I want more more neutral colors, kind of to break up the flag a little better. And uh, the arrangement is, of course, a, a little bit better here. I'm not as big a fan of these little diamond things. The cross thing, I, I'm down with that. That's pretty cool. Um, Jamaica's a really good flag. Um, I'll give it a four and a half. I don't know what it would need to get to a five, but I really like it. And its color choice is not super common. Despite the fact that we did a green and yellow one right before, you don't see a ton of flags with these colors together but i think the black black next to yellow always looks so good also uh this one was suggested by somebody named low budget i i gotta shout you out if you're gonna be leaving me suggestions the least thing i can do is acknowledge your name yeah four and a half i really like the jamaican flag it's symmetrical the colors play off one another a little bit better than i like if you put the same blue that the Bra the brazilian flag did uh, right here in place of the black, I don't think it would hit as well. I, th I think this is a case where a neutral color, something that's, uh, that is very good at breaking up colors can be very helpful. I don't think, uh, I don't think white would have done well. I think this is a specific case in which black works, black and yellow. It, it, they work together very well for a reason. They contrast very well. Yellow is one of the lighter colors. I, I like it. That was a good one. Venezuela from Vicente Labe. Hopefully I said your name correctly. If I didn't, um, I'm sorry. So Venezuela, I didn't... I was kind of familiar with this flag. I, f I feel like I've seen it before. I don't remember there being like a coat of arms on it. I, that's something that uh, I don't recall. I remember seeing all of this stuff. So the red, blue, yellow thing, it has a similar thing. Like it could be broken up a little better with a neutral color. And I was a little conflicted about the stars, but the stars actually do a good job at adding something that kind of breaks it up. In it, Although it's not like necessarily a divider, uh, having that white there, it, it stands out among these very strong colors. I wasn't sure how I felt about the white stars being in an arc, but I think that's one of the stronger pieces of the flag. One of the weaker ones is having this coat of arms right here because it seems like countries treat their coat of arms like a watermark on uh, on their flag. I, I, don't, I don't get it. They kind of just throw it on there. And the fact that it's just sitting off in the corner I, I mean, some flags will make their coat of arms like the centerpiece, and I don't like that either, but it's sitting off in the corner like that. It's, I mean, if you're going to do it, be assertive about it. I think this would be a pretty good flag if it didn't have that. I think it, this could be a passable flag. However, that's significant for me. That is really a damper on how I feel about this flag. This could be a three. This like knocks it down like one and a half points. I'm giving this a, a, a 1.5. Uh, I think there are different color choices that might have been able to influence me more, but w once this thing is on here, it's just not my thing. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of coat of arms when it comes to flag. If this was coat of arms review, maybe I'd have different thoughts about this in particular, but I just don't think it belongs on a flag. We got Chile from Boyo. And uh, one of you, of course, it resembles the Texas flag. Uh, that's the first thing I think. I believe one of you told me that the Chilean flag was older than the Texas flag, which is really interesting. I wonder how that came about. I said in the past that the Puerto Rico flag was inspired by the U.S. flag, and it, it turns out I was not right about that. But it makes me think, what was the, f I don't know what the first flag that did stars and stripes was, like in the red, white, and blue stars and stripes was, because I'd imagine they, they all built off of that, and that, that seems like a very American thing, not just, not America as in USA, but like the Americas, North and South, um, 
How does this stand, though? I remember giving the Texas flag a decent grade. Did I grade it? I actually don't know if I graded it. Maybe I was going to, and I had the intention of giving the Texas flag a really good grade. I feel like I brought it up in relation to another flag. Um... I don't like this as much as I like the Texas flag. You know that I'm not a huge fan of like little squares off in the corner. It's never been my thing. The Texas flag, what it does is it drags the blue all the way down. So it's three distinct sections and has the star down here in like the middle. And I like that. Um, this isn't a bad flag though. I think since I give the U.S. flag a three, this is at least a three. What I don't like about the U.S. flag is that it is really busy. It's got a lot of stripes, a lot of stars. So honestly, this could go above it for me. This is, it's definitely going to go slightly above that. I don't know how much above. It still has some of the weaknesses that I don't like about it. it get, one being the squared off piece in the corner that just has never done anything for me. Um, the star looks nice and clean. I like that. Uh, I, I like it. I do like it though. Um, yeah, I'll give it a 3.5. It's a 3.5. It, Chile, you got a good flag. Uh, it doesn't get any points for, uh, creativity, but neither do most of the, uh, flags with stars and stripes on them. And they, they just don't. Uh, it, it's... That's probably one of the weaknesses of a lot of these flags because they don't they are done by a lot of other flags. It's just a thing. Oh wait, did I say who did that? Yeah, Boyo. Thank you, Boyo, for that one. Uh this is weird. Michael Hill suggests I do and I'm not even sure how to say this. Uh Seychelles? Seychelles? Say Seychelles. Well, thank you, Michael Hill, for sending me a strange flag. Like it's weird because we got we got lots of colors here, and when you add a lot of colors, it, it does run the risk of being a little bit too busy. But it also has the potential of really standing out and grabbing your attention. So th this kind of has both those things going for it. Um, I'm not. I'm trying to think of what this would look like if it was a square rather than a rectangle. Perhaps they would have been able to make the colors a little bit more even. But I think. Uh, the, you know how this one's like a little bit wider than the reds a little wider than the white and they, they're all different sizes because it's a rectangle if it was a square they could probably make them all the same size but the fact that they're all different actually i think the imperfection is what gives it its charm i'm a little conflicted about this flag i think this is one of those cases where i may reconsider it later on but I'm, I'm gonna try my best for this so i gave this one a 3.5 i like this one do i like this one more i don't think i do i don't think i like it more this goes against so many rules that i have for flags and i'm really conflicted about it but it also gets points for like a creative layout i like i said the the imperfections kind of make it cool um, I'll give it a three. I, I think that's a very safe middle of the road thing. Like it does have some faults, but the creativity and standoutedness kind of compensates for that and makes it land among good flags. I don't know what it makes me feel. And honestly, I might change my mind tomorrow and say that this flag was supposed to be a one, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. For some reason, it makes me happy. I I usually like simplicity when it comes to colors, but this this one's kind of daring, and I respect it. All right, next flag. All right, we got Malta, which I believe, uh, Kurzestov Manja. I believe in your comment you said it was a micro nation technically, which that's interesting. Um, we've got a red white divide it looks like the white's a little bit bigger than the red that that's not necessarily a problem um the real issue is just having this little thing in the corner here having little things off in corners doesn't always do it for me uh what does it say for gallantry and it's a cross so some sort of uh christian symbol i'd imagine 
I've always assumed uh, if it if you have like a cross on your flag, you're like Catholic or something, because they seem to be big into putting uh, uh, their crosses on their national symbols as well. Um, but it could be any sort of Christian denomination or not one. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, but on the face of it, I don't like stuff like this on flags, not just because it's like a religious thing it's got going on here. The fact that it's got writing, um, it kind of feels like it's something that was slapped on the flag rather than something that was prepared for the flag rather than something that gives it a you got unique identity it uh it, it's just kind of there it can only take away so i will give this flag a 1.5 one yeah 1.25 uh, I, it's really banking on this symbol that's off in the corner because there's not much else going on on the flag. Uh, there are flags that do minimalistic stuff and they can pa pass by as an okay flag, uh, but not get any creativity points. This one, it's, the fact that it is so minimalistic draws my attention towards this and I feel like that's the worst place to draw my attention because it's the, it's the least good looking thing on the flag which that's unfortunate because it's the most creative looking thing on the flag all right thank you uh Kurzistoff. uh we're going to keep moving oh this one was weird when i was throwing together my powerpoint uh the name of course i can't read this uh but the name because of the language it's in it wouldn't let me put the name of the country on the left of it sometimes when you put different languages together uh it ruins your formatting <laughs> it's just kind of what it did uh but this person with this name that i can't read thank you for your suggestion regardless uh suggested kurdistan and uh i've never seen the kurdistan flag so i was excited about this this one it looks it's good i i i think i like it it's definitely going to be on the positive th side of things. It's got a very safe thing going for it. Like, it's got the red and the green div uh, divided by the white. It it's the easiest thing in the world to do a flag like that. Uh, but they are reliable. Uh, let me... Go. I'm looking at the red compared to the other reds. Uh, I It looks like a slightly brighter, a little bit more orangey red than we have in the case of Malta. And I think that works very well with the sun that they got in the middle. And I don't mind the spiky sun. This is actually a a, a solid flag. I'm, I'm down with this. Um, it's more banking on what it has than what it it lacks. <laughs> so I, I just have to rate this on the sum of everything good about it rather than the, anything negative about it. Because I don't necessarily dislike anything in particular about it. It is safe. It's got that going for it. Um, I'll give this one. This one is very close to a four for me, which is a very good grade for me. I give out very few fives. So four is one of the uh, 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 top dogs. This one, I think I'm going to give a 3.75. Uh, I think if it had just a little bit more on the creative side, it could be pushed over the top. But I think Curtis has got a fantastic flag I, th I think that's a good flag i love being positive every once in a while i go from like all these weird regional flags to the national flags and suddenly i'm getting flags that are simple and make sense um i was looking forward to this one so next flag south korea i feel like i've done this one before um it wasn't on my list of flags that i've done but i could have sworn that i've done it <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I maybe I looked at it on my own and it wasn't part of a flag review and it made me feel like I did it. But if I did it in the past, it's getting a second chance. And if I give a lot of these flags a second chance, it's very likely that I'll give it a different rating. It, sometimes it depends on the day. So South Korea, suggested by Daniel Luster. Uh, I like the center symbol. It, it, it's got the yin and yang thing going on, but it's red and blue, which is really cool. I don't understand 
the little black blocky things and they're all different from one another which is very intriguing it does throw me off a little bit because there's like a desire for symmetry that isn't there some some designs i feel like require symmetry and some don't um so i have like I, and this isn't I don't mean to have this. I just have this little feeling of discomfort seeing like all these things and like none of them resembling one another and them all framing the same thing. But like it's not a bad flag. I it's it's a very irrational feeling I have when I see that. But I have trouble escaping it and that's one of the big problems. I think it made good use of everything on it despite the fact that it has a white background which is risky because you risk the flag looking a little bit empty. I think they made good use of the space so I, I'm, I like that. Um, I'll give this one a 3.25. I actually think it's a pretty good flag and I on maybe a better day I might have given it more but there's something about those little corner pieces that are it's just bugging me. Like it's not bad. It's just it's just bugging me. Uh, and I'm trying to get over it. I really am. But it still lands on the good side of flags. I, I'm glad I'm giving good ratings for these. I'm I'm happy with this. Next flag. Belarus by Hujija. The name was just H J J. Oh, this makes me uncomfortable. Of course, we have the red thing on top. You can probably barely see my little pointer thing, but we got the red thing on top and the green thing on the bottom. And the red thing is bigger than the green thing, which is also gonna bug me a little bit. And this side piece, this very pixely thing, it, it looks like a design you'd find on a sweater vest. Uh, what do they call that, argyle? Maybe that's not argyle, but it resembles like an argyle sweater a little bit. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't think I like that. It might go well on a lot of other things. I feel like I'd like that on a sweater. If that was on a sweater, I feel like I would wear that sweater on a cold day. However, and it looks weirdly pixely, which is clearly a design choice rather than a flaw, but I, I don't know if I'm liking it. Like, I want to like this flag. Like, green and red go okay together, but nothing's coming together in a way that I really like here I'm I I don't feel super rational on this one but I'm gonna give this one a one I, I I don't I don't really like it that side piece is really what they're banking on because nothing else is interesting on here and the other stuff has this thing where one side is bigger than the other and sometimes that's a design choice and it works um, it doesn't say anything to me in this case it just seems like it's there for the sake of being there um and then the side piece is kind of just weird to look at i i don't know i don't think it fits very well in in the context of a flag uh so there you go belarus that's what you got okay here's the last one today we're going to be doing the galactic empire suggested by metal musician uh, I think the Galactic Empire often goes overlooked when you think of great imperial powers, maybe because it didn't last as long as you would expect it to, given its military strength before it like fractured into smaller groups. Um, I, I think uh, it, it needs to be appreciated a little more. But is its flag good? Um, you know, it's, it, it's got some stuff going for it. If you really want to look like the bad guy, Black, white, and red do go very well together. Um, that's a thing. I, I, I totally get that. Uh, the symbol... I, I guess it, it speaks to what they were trying to communicate. They were, they were really of the future long, long ago. They, 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 they were technologically very advanced. They, they were very mechanical in their function. Uh, so it's got this this very mechanical looking centerpiece, which I, I think it works. This would not work with most fla with most countries, most flags, but I think that element does work. Um, I think the symbol looks good on its own. Sitting on a red background is fine. It stands out all right. Uh, but I 
I think it looks better as a symbol than it does in the form of a flag. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I, I can't give it a terribly bad grade. I think the color choice was good. The picture really speaks to its identity. Uh, I'll give it a 3.5. I, I, it's a solid flag. <laughs> Uh, as, as far as flags that really communicate an identity without me having to know too much behind it, this is one of them. So thank you, Metal Musician, for the suggestion. And that's, that's all the flags we got. Um, what's the flag of the day? I think it's the Jamaican flag, right? Yeah, J Jamaica's flag is pretty good. And sometimes it's simple th stuff. Uh, less is more in a lot of cases. What could have pushed it above and beyond? I don't know. Um, there are people who have much better uh, knowledge on this sort of stuff than I do and are much better at working with space and such. Uh, but I know what I like, and I like this. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite flag on here? I, I, I'm sure we differed on a lot of these. Some of these I felt a little bit weird. Giving, like this one, I felt a little bit weird about the grade I gave it. Um, and maybe it was a moment of weakness. This one I, I was happy about. Um, this one was weird. Uh, but yeah, what was your favorite flag among the ones that I did? I'm going to end it on Jamaica because Jamaica is the MVP in my mind. But uh, a close second would be, uh, I kind of like Kurdistan. I might like Kurdistan more than I gave it credit for. I'm not even sure. But yeah, Jamaica. I'm very happy with that. So leave your suggestions for flags you want me to do in the future. Uh, so in the next handful, we're going to be doing regional flags. I might go back to regions that I've already visited. Uh, I still have to finish the U.S. state flags. I'm kind of waiting for the Mississippi flag for that one. I got another Swedish flag thing to do. I got more Russian flags. I've got a lot of things to work on, so I'll definitely be going back to those significantly. But I'd like to uh, start some more as well. Uh, so let me know. I, I would like some Asian countries. You know any good Asian countries with more local flags that look pretty cool or, or pretty bad? Uh, I would love to know because I, I want to get to different continents. I, I've, uh, I've done Africa. I've done North America. I've done Europe. I want to do something uh, from Asia. I mean, I did Russia, which is kind of it, it's got some s stuff in Asia, but it's not the same. It's not the same as doing, like, uh, Far East stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying. I'm not the best at describing things. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Later.